Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tag Team Naples with Shen. Tag Team Nipples? What? I said Naples. Sure you did. That's what I heard. How's it going, Arumba? It's good. It's good. I'm getting used to the mouse. My hand doesn't hurt as much now. Good. That's fantastic. I'm just working through the pain. So, um, <laughs> I'm working through the pain. So how different do you think this war is going to be, the Castilian War, now that England has started a war against France? It depends on the naval AI. If, if England actually manages to land some troops, first off, I'll be impressed. Second off, um, that'll be the day. He has 13 guys in Normandy right now. Yeah, yeah, look at the army composition, Shen. Army intelligence right there. It's wow. artificial intelligence. What the actual hell? Yeah. We're going to have 75% cavalry because our cavalry support number is, 20, is 50. All right, I am going to separate our damaged troops in Roma. I'm going to go kill that one stack. I was just thinking the same thing, but I don't know if I like detaching damaged troops anymore. I, use, I, use, I don't know. In I'll single player, when I can pause on a dime, I, I, I like it, but I feel like... There you go. It's just such a, ris a risky move. I thought you liked Are, risky moves. We're losing so much money because we don't have trade and we need reinforcement and blah. Yeah, but the reinforcement's not going to last too long. It's just uh, five dudes in a Brutzi. Something that neither of us have apparently used very much in the last few series, according to the comments, is war taxes. True. Uh, it's really rare that I touch it. Like, it's, it's only in situations where I'm ahead in military tech that I ever even consider it. Like we are? Well, we're only ahead by a tiny bit. And we're yep. not going to be ahead as soon as we finish the uh, quality idea groups. We're not going to be ahead. Right. And that's the other thing is we're doing a military idea group right now. So, But, yeah. Oh, no. France is having a ball in Lombardia. That's good. That's good. The more they focus on us, the more the Castilian troops will siege down South France. France is attacking Castile in the Alps. You know, Burgundy might not stay in this war. Burgundy's at medium enthusiasm. They're almost to low. It's because he hasn't unseached his capital. He needs to do that. Yeah, he's a dummy. First off, I'm amazed that he lost his capital, but... Well, France oh. was standing there with 50-something oh. thousand, wasn't he? There we go. There we go. Look at the four stack in Lombardia. That's what we need. Uh, okay. I mean, France that's... Is going... No, look. France is going way north. They're going all the way up to Burgundy. This mm -hmm. is the opportunity to clear out the siege stacks. France is going to push Burgundy out of the war right here. This is it. Probably. But we're going to wipe Foy, and we're going to wipe Foy. probably Genoa. Foy. I like I like Foy. I like saying it Foy. It's Foy. From, the, from now on, Shen, it's Foix. It's okay? Foy. It's Foix. Foy. Foix. Foix. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's right, you Foixians. Foixians. Oh, That's a there cool you go. Word. Burgundy's going to unseat his capital with one dude. Oh, nope. No, he's not. Well, he tried. Uh, how much you want to bet it's either uh, it's it's one cavalry or it's one artillery? It's not even real troops. Now, careful there attacking Cuneo. Careful, careful. France has 19. Oh, no. France went north. Never mind. I know where France is going. Sure you do. You're, you are the AI. You have the AI in your brain. I have played against this. I have played so much E4. Then I do usually know where the AI is going to go. Really? Because yeah. when I look at your profile okay. page, it says um, EU4, 1,250 hours, and uh, Dota 2, 3,000 hours. Yeah, I've played a lot of Dota. <laughs> it doesn't mean I haven't played a lot of EU4. Mm. But, I, but I remember, okay, when I, was at, when, I, when, when I went to ParadoxCon, I got to talk to Wiz directly about it. And mm -hmm. he's the guy that did the AI, and he did it. He worked on AI before he became the project lead, and he explained it. You know, the AI... Every army in the game is not controlled by an AI. Okay? As crazy as that sounds. The AI... That would be too much. It would cost too much resources for every army to move intelligently. So what the game does is it, it basically... And again, I'm paraphrasing what he told me while we were drinking in, in Switzerland. So... <laughs> don't trust Switzerland? Everything. Sorry. Sweden, whatever. No, it's, it's the same it's, thing. It's, Don't worry it's about the it. Same place. It's the same place. Okay, now this this battle is important. Check out Bar Barois. Barois? Barois. <laughs> Barois. Barois. This battle is going to cause England to uh, lose the war. 
Yeah, that would be the, the five infantry, ten cavalry stack that they have. Well, it sounded like a good idea at the time. Didn't you know early game cav is OPOP? -OP? God, what a dummy. <laughs> anyway, so the AI, right? Like, France might have three... I would say based on the size of their war right now, they have probably just one. But they might have two... Oh, did Burgundy just peace out? Yeah, Burgundy's out of the war. Okay. Consider it like two units of AI. They have two brains. Two... Two brains. Two, two armies. Two armies that are actually going to move around intelligently. And everything else is stupid. Right? The siege stacks. The armies that are moving to join the intelligence stack. So like those ones, just, they just don't have any extra commands. If there's danger, they just ignore it. Right. Like, like you, can, you can tell. Just look at the map. You can see that France just sent its focus into Burgundy. That's mm -hmm. its entire AI brain for this war. They don't have a second one. And it's, it's usually tied to the number of troops they have, the number of generals they have, the size of the war, that you whole know, thing. Piedmont can't handle our entire army. Yes, it can. It's got a supply limit of 24. And we have a supply weight of 22 because we have two maneuver score. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the general's maneuver. That's actually really important. Besides, I, uh, I constantly use the supply limit map mode to, to check moving into provinces. So. Mm -hmm. And also you can tell just by hovering over the province, it'll, it'll tell you if it's going to be, if it's green, it's good. If it's so yellow. If we want to take Trevizo, we should probably siege Trevizo. We do have a claim. So like France's brain right now is in Armigny. It's the only thing that they're focusing on. And the... How's his army doing? Let me check. France has 27,000 troops with 18 mercs. Yeah. How much uh, debt do you think he has? Let's find out. 12. Uh, it looks like six loans. But he has second highest income, so those are some pretty big loans. Oh my gosh, because Steel will end their overlordship over Galicia. Castile, oh, the war's oh, over? War just ended. Yeah, that was the end of the war with France, because Steel surrendered. Oh, he broke alliance with Burgundy. Burgundy, not us. And he didn't make us release Modena, or whatever you mm -hmm. he said he'd do. Weird piece. That's okay. fine, I guess. And now Castile can go beat up that uh, Hesse Saxon army. <laughs> That's hilarious that they went down to siege Castile instead of us. We have 42 war score. We should start sending stab hitting peace offers to Saxony. Oh, yeah. He's the war leader, huh? Sure. You know what would be awesome is if sometime in the next couple thousand days, we actually get progress on, C on integrating Tuscany. Mm. We, we really do need the diplomatic reputation guy. There's no way we're going to actually well, get this guy integrated. In two years, we're going to we're going to lose the penalty from the last annexation, so it's no big deal. So basically for five years, we just had a diplomat doing nothing. Ten years. I thought annex subjects was five years. Mm-mm, ten. It's a long penalty. We've, we've literally had a diplomat doing absolutely nothing for ten years? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's kind you. of that's kind of why it's um, a coin flip on whether to do whether to do that or to wait until the uh, penalty is gone and then try to get relations up with Tuscany before you annex. But the thing is, is if we did have, like maybe we get lucky and maybe we do get a diplomatic uh, reputation advisor who's not a level three in that time period, right? But just didn't happen. Oh God, Shen, don't even get me started on the freaking advisors. What, did you ever play EU3? I just, I'm, I'm uh, I did briefly, but I mean, look at this. We have 16.92 total income. That's our total income. Mm -hmm. And you have to assume at least half of that's going to go towards military. So maybe we have eight disposable ducats of income a month. Yeah. And, and you're going to offer us a level three advisor that costs 12. Well, the best thing is if you don't even have that much money, if you don't even have that much income, and yet they still demand more. Like, yeah, give us more than your nation makes permanently, and then we'll work for you. That makes sense. I just think it's so dumb that you can't hire. And, and they are changing it, which I don't like the way they're changing it in the next patch. What are the, in the changes? Next, in the next patch, if there's a diplomat that you don't want, you can hire him, pay the pay the price, the upfront price to hire him, and he'll go away. Mm -hmm. So next month, you'll get another one. Okay. But the problem I see with it is that if you're in a situation like we're in right now, 
where we can't afford a level 3 advisor. We have to pay a crap ton of money to hire him to make him go away, and then what do you think it's going to give us next month? Another level 3 advisor. That's so stupid. I just yeah, I don't like it. What I would what I would prefer is either the EU3 system where you just pick an advisor that you want, you just pay the points, you get the advisor, you hire him. That's what you did. You chose what kind you wanted out of a giant list. So if mm -hmm. you always want a discipline guy, you could get one. You know, you just whatever. Okay. Um, go on. Here's our opportunity of the year. Our, our, we need to make a decision again. Wurzburg just became reformed. So Ooh. if we, we want to do reformed, we can get a center of reformation, but we've got to be... Super quick. like two more available. I love reformed. But you cannot convert religion when you're at war. Oh, no. But we can't peace out. Well, we're at 41%. Why don't we do the stab hitting peace offers? Okay. I thought I tried doing that, and yet we're somehow improving with Poland again, Shen. No, I was improving with Burgundy. You never did your thing. Well, I blame you. <laughs> I didn't say it was your fault. I just said I'm going to blame you. All right. Let me pause so we can... All right, so... I really want to go reformed. Okay. Well, I, I have no issue with it. We did finally just get above positive stability, but... Or positive prestige, but... The other thing is it's going to be nice is we're going to... Do we get rid of the occupation of Rome from this since we're not going to be Catholic? Let me check. Triggered modifiers. Occupation of Rome. Uh, not the overlord of the Pope. Rome is a vassal of Naples. Is not Italy. It doesn't matter what religion we are. All right. So we'll still have it until we form Italy. Unless... Unless it says three out of three, but maybe there's a three out of four. Maybe there's actually a hidden modifier that will go away when we convert. It's possible. Oh my god, you're ruining Saxony. He's at plus one now. So he started at plus three then, if you've done it twice, right? Yeah. Oh goodness. That's right, that's what you get, Paradox, for giving us this coalition and length of war crap. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna abuse your AI. You are cheesing the system so hard right now. I really hope they get rid of on arrival siege attrition someday. Like we're gonna we're gonna kill 110 men just to move to Treviso. So dumb. That's not super unrealistic, but it's the same thing. Like if <laughs> if they're, it's Excuse not it, it's not super unrealistic. I I I would disagree. You're telling me that if we march 10,000 troops from Verona to Treviso, it's expected that 110 of them are gonna die from tripping off their horses or something on the way there. They're just gonna die. Or not having a stable source of food, or getting lost, or other stuff going on. Yeah, it happens. They're marching over the course of one week. They're going to just break their ankles? <laughs> snake bites? Like, what the hell is it? What, what I'm saying is, it's... I'm not I'm not saying it's realistic as far as the numbers. What I'm saying is, it's... Oh, there we go. We got our province siege. Let's see if he'll peace out for that land. It's stupid. Ah, uh, he won't even give us that land. But I want it. Okay, he's at negative one stability now. We need to peace out. I want to become reformed. I think we just keep forcing it until he says he has to say yes because he's got negative three stability. Don't forget to demand Trevisa, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. So at the very worst case scenario, in about two months, we'll be able to force him. Cool. To do, to do something. How's England doing, by the way? I mean, he still has that province sieged, but no, France is carpet sieging Brittany. England, he's you're an idiot. Yeah, it's just France versus England, and England is doing 75% cavalry armies. There's just no chance that they're going to win. Why is he so freaking stupid? Uh, moral of the story was... Uh, artificial stupidity. It's not like he has that much cav. He just decided that that army to invade France would be like all cav. Yeah. three. It was three infantry, nine cavalry, and then like three or four artillery. Which is a horrible composition. Just, it's just really, truly horrible. What's What I think would be really cool is if the AI could understand that, like, let's say Castile or Burgundy's AI could understand that even though you're not doing well in your war, the fact that you have strong allies like Naples and the fact that another nation has decided France is weak enough to declare when England declared, that should give Castile and Burgundy reasons to stay in the war. But it doesn't. Mm -hmm. That's a separate war. It just doesn't even, doesn't even matter. Right. 
which is something that the, as a player we consider we consider yeah. whether or not you know that when we saw england join the war against france we got really excited and we wanted to keep fighting france mm -hmm. which is what the ai should do that's a great point okay this is the the time where we can actually force a piece no matter what well as let's long as as long as it though. is as long as it's less than i think 20 percent war score of what we have do you see what i'm seeing look at muscovy Novgorod's losing? And the other way around. Novgorod's winning. Oh, right. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Why? Uh, I don't know. Okay. In order to force this, I think we need one more war score. We have, this is a 26-piece war score offer. Well, Istria's about to fall. 28%. Or we could just go see, kill that army in Ferrara. Um, yeah, let's do that. He's running. Oh, he's coming out. Cool. We'll be to kill that nine stack. Just watch the thing, see if we yeah. can... Yeah, Muscovy will see Kargopol, Tikvin, Olenets, Ust, Solyansk, Kom, Vologda, Torzok, and Peskov to Novgorod. Holy shit. Okay, they're willing to accept. Nation is too unstable, plus 100. <laughs> Love it. Oh, wait, that's the concede defeat. One second, let me make sure. Yeah. Oh my God. You you sent him from plus three stab to negative three stab. Paradox, please. I, like I said, it's already fixed. I do think it's kind of funny. Yay! We finished our mission. We got twenty five free admin points. How much does it cost to core that? One hundred and forty. <laughs> it's okay. It's worth it. We uh we need to stay at peace for a bit. Okay. And now, do we want to do reformed? Oh yes. I'm. I. I of course. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, do it. All right, where do we get our center? It is in Lucania. Lucania. Um, I kind of would have preferred it to be in the more in the north area, so it could get more of Europe. But whatever. All right, cool. So, so. we have ten percent bonus conversion strength. I think oh. we should go with the Roma. Oh God, look at our relations with Austria. Were well, they really upset about it? Yeah, just a bit. A little bit of aggressive expansion. No, it's 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 um it's not that. It's the fact that we change religions. That's a We're, big, 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 big ding. Well, we can get forty-five opinion if we improve with them again. I uh, we should do that right away. Okay, but I think we should convert Rome. Yeah. Um. Three percent. Sure. Done. Ding. Cool. I mean, it's gonna take most of the time period that we get our bonus ten percent conversion, but. Unless the Center of Reformation converts it for us, this is like the only chance we have to get it converted. Well, Lucania will probably get Rome anyway, but we might as well do it right now. Lucania is doing Salento. Yeah. Of course, we're at like 9% religious unity, so it gives us a religious unity mission. Oh, really? Cool. Conquest of Rome has happened to us. Again. Oh, hey. Wait, whoa, whoa. We just lost the occupation of Rome. Okay, so changing religions does do it. And instead of, instead of occupation of Rome, we now have conquest of Rome, which gives us an extra missionary. Lovely. See, that was not clear at all from looking at the occupation no, of Rome thing. It didn't tell you anything. Well, cool. The extra missionary is sweet. Going yeah, to we'll Lombardia. Work, um, cool. I think we should take the, uh, the mission. Go for achieve, it. Achieve religious unity. It's going to happen really fast. And we now have a looming disaster because of religious turmoil. So we'll have to do some flips as fast as possible. But that's okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's really going to happen. I mean, it's... it's... Yeah, it's not guaranteed. We're getting, okay, as long as we get above 50% pretty quick, which we will. Now, do you know how long it takes for the Protestant League to occur? Mm -mm. I don't know exactly what triggers it. If we just look at the thing, we can see... No, it hasn't even started. Wow, England converted his entire country pretty quickly. Whereas Norway's done most of it. We almost have full quantity. Or quality, rather. <laughs> you keep saying quantity. I know. Well, you kind of push for it pretty hard. So, for our uh, reformed religion, do you want to focus on trade, war, or stability? Mm, do we have enough? We don't oh, have enough stability. monthly change. Stability, Shen. That way we can do uh, diplomatic reputation and actually integrate Tuscany. Yeah, but we don't have enough points. You need five points per month to sustain it. We don't have it yet. Doesn't matter. It's gonna. We have. We can keep it going for four months. That's four points of integration we can do. Yeah, okay. I mean, our modifier is going away in... September of next year. So one year from now, 
the negative three relation reputation will go away, and annexation will be much faster. Yep. All right. Well, why don't we call it there? It is a uh, wonderful reformed Naples, soon to be reformed Italy, and um, we won our two coalition wars. Well, the first one was what we we took. 10 prestige. <laughs> it wasn't really a big win. But the second one we took Trevizo, which is fantastic. We're going to hire the National Unrest guy right now. Yeah, sounds He's good. He's available. He's level one. Do you want to do any of these decisions? Mm, what do we have? Missionary strength for unrest, unrest for money, or less unrest for stability cost. All three of them, I think, are useful to consider. I would usually take the... Uh, I would definitely usually take the national unrest minus one. You mean for you mean superintendents? Yep, I would pretty much always take that for stability cost. Yeah, for me, that's what I would normally take. I don't know about you. We'll talk about it off camera. We'll decide next video. Yeah. All right. See you later, everyone. Have a good day. See you soon.